so in this video i will be making potassium chlorate by electrolysis so in the right i have a saturated solution of potassium chloride which i have made by dissolving this red colored fertilizer which is called muriate of potash or in short mop so what i did i took some of this red colored salt you can see that it is crystalline and then I dissolved it in water and prepared a saturated solution. Then I filtered the solution. So the solution came colorless and the red color remained in the filter paper because the color was insoluble in water. This fertilizer I purchased for very cheap. That is, uh, it costed me around 1 kg for 80 rupees. And it consists mainly of potassium chloride. Now I placed two electrodes that are made up of graphite in the saturated solution and connected them with a 18 watt mobile charger. The thick one electrode is the anode and the thin one electrode is the cathode. So what is happening here is that there are four types of ions in this solution. Potassium ions, chloride ions, H plus ions and hydroxide ions. So on the cathode, the H plus ions are getting reduced to hydrogen. And on the anode, the chloride ions, because they are in more concentration, are getting oxidized to chlorine. As a result of which, potassium hydroxide is left in the solution. So the chlorine, which is formed at the anode, then reacts with the potassium hydroxide in the solution, which is formed. This gives potassium hypochlorite. The potassium hypochlorite then disproportionates into potassium chlorate and potassium chloride. This process goes on and on and potassium chlorate is being formed as a product which then separates out from the solution due to its lower solubility in cold water and it settles in the bottom. After one day, my electrochemical cell looked like this and the solution had turned black. I had placed some more electrodes onto the main electrode so that the surface area of the electrodes is increased and therefore more current is being passed in the solution. I added some more saturated potassium chloride solution since potassium chloride is consumed in this reaction. So I let this electrolysis run for 10 days and I kept on adding potassium chloride solution to keep the supply of potassium chloride from time to time. The, the, the anode was getting disintegrated and the solution was getting black. After the 10th day, I took off the electrodes and cleaned the beaker first by scrapping off the salt from the beaker and then by washing it with water. Then I heated the solution to boiling. On boiling, all the potassium hypochlorite will decompose into potassium chlorate and the potassium chlorate will dissolve in the water. So on dissolution, we will able to filter off the solution to separate our potassium chlorate from this black precipitate. When the solution started boiling, I filtered the solution with regular gravity filtration. The solution is still hot, but you can see that crystals of potassium chlorate are being formed in the conical flask. Finally, all the solution was filtered hot. Then the precipitate and the beaker was washed two to three times with hot water. The filtrate was cooled inside the freezer till zero degrees Celsius and the crystals formed were filtered by my DIY butyl funnel by vacuum filtration. The crystals look pretty nice and clean. But I decided to do one more recrystallization to remove impurities of potassium chloride and other impurities that were present in the fertilizer. So after draining of all the solution, I take off the precipitate or crystals you may say and I transferred them into a beaker. Then I set the beaker on a tripod and then I added some distilled water. Around 50 ml of distilled water was added initially and then I started heating this. I kept on adding 
डिस्टिल वाटर अंटिल द प्रेसिपिटेट कम्प्लीटली डिजोल्व सो आई एडेड अ टोटल ऑफ हंड्रेड एम एल डिस्टिल वाटर एंड नाउ द क्रिस्टल हैव कम्प्लीटली डिजोल्व इन दिस नाउ आई सेट दिस ऑन अ टाइम लैब्स एंड आई लेट द सोल्यूशन कूल इनिशियली सम क्रिस्टल अपियर्ड ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द सोल्यूशन सो वॉट आई डिड आई टूक अ ग्लास रॉड एंड स्टर्ड द सोल्यूशन एंड एज आई स्टर्ड द सोल्यूशन इमीजिएटली द क्रिस्टल स्पेसिपिटेटेड देन आई टूक द बीकर एंड देन आई पुट इट इन द फ्रीजर टू चिल टिल जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस द बीकर वॉज टेकन आउट ऑफ द फ्रीजर एंड द क्रिस्टल वर देन फिल्टर्ड ऑफ using my buchner funnel then i took off the crystals in a petri dish and dried them in my desiccator after drying the yield came about to be 40 g now to test my potassium chlorate i took some of it in a test tube and heated it until all the potassium chlorate started to melt when all the potassium chlorate melted i took a sugar cube or a sugar crystal which is also called as mishri and threw it in the test tube and you can see the classical gummy bear experiment I upload videos every Tuesday so subscribe to my channel If you like my work you can support me financially through Patreon and PayPal links are given in description